Hello, I'm the Commander Xander. I remember because it's Greek me! Christmas, 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 Christmas! Well, it's December, kitties, and you know what that means. It's time to delve into, you guessed it, more Christmas specials. And seeing as how we're in the spirit of Christmas, as high-pitched as it is, let's delve into a familiar high-pitched rodent called Alvin and the Chipmunks and their timeless classic, A Chipmunk Christmas. Because, quite frankly, I need to do something that you people are going to recognize. Because, quite frankly, the Thanksgiving reviews did not go as I had hoped. So let's do something that you people are familiar with. Alvin and the Chipmunks, as you probably know, had a Christmas special. How much singing is involved in this one? Well, let's let Alvin figure that one out with a Chipmunk Christmas. <laughs> The scene is set for December 20th. Oh good, five days before Christmas. A lot of procrastinating amongst all the chipmunks in the land of Townieville. Or whatever town this is. Yeah, because getting sick five days before Christmas gives you all the time in the world to recover. Now what exactly does this have to do with Alvin again? Exactly what did you do to try and make the kid better? Did you give him medicine? Did you give him a glass of hot milk? Did you give him, like, medicine? I just wish we knew what was wrong with him. Tommy's not even interested in his music anymore. <gasps> Wait, stop the presses! You're telling me he doesn't care about Alvin? It's amazing what kind of sickness this is. Now, what kind of disease are we looking at? Is it lack of music phobia or something like that? His sister reads to him every night, hoping something will snap him out of it. What exactly could she be reading that is so fucking thick? You think he's going to be paying attention? First of all, he's drowsy and sleepy. Second of all, look how big that book is! It's not like it's the Nightmare Before Christmas or something like that. Oh, the Night Before Christmas. Sorry, Nightmare. Tim Burton. Where were we, Tommy? Oh, I remember. That's the Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol. Excuse me? You're reading a book about a handsome prince? What does that have to do with fucking Christmas? And to think I thought this was going to be a rendition of the Night Before Christmas. Or Christmas Carol, for that matter. No, it's some stupid prince! But at least we got some Christmas music in the background. Uh, don't tell me. Is this... Oh, boy. Oh, man! And what exactly are the chipmunks gonna spy with this shopping? Oh, boy. Skateboarding down the rails. Uh, I'm sure that's gonna get him going. Oh no, yeah. Just what he needs. Um. What the fuck? They're hopping around with his clothes and they put them on wrong. Oh great, now they're lying in bed. Uh, three, two, one. Three hundred seventy days until next Christmas. Gee, he knows his math. I like this guy. Oh boy! Come on, where's your Christmas spirit? Come on, David. Christmas singing can get you in a good mood. Wait a minute, are you hypnotizing him to go shopping for you? Oh, great. 
That's the title of our special, A Chipmunk Christmas. Great. Next! Christmas time is here to the tune of Jingle Bells. Why don't you just sing Jingle Bells? Look at all those pretty twees. Including that one at the Golden Echo Harmonica. I beg to differ. The one that's on display is the best harmonica in the world. Although I beg to differ to that begging of difference because I own the best harmonica in the world. You just can't see it because it's in the closet. Oh, great. Some girl has the same crush for the same harmonica as Albert! Sorry, this is going to get some taking used to. Oh, that's right. This is the sister of the sick kid. Music will certainly warm his spirits. Gee, I wonder how this is going to unfold. Would it happen to involve Albert singing some songs to the sick kid? I have a feeling this is what this special is all about, is it? Don't oh, wait, man! You're gonna spoil it for the kiddies! <laughs> we return to the sleeping kid and look who shows up. I'm a sort of delivery boy. No, you're not. You're a chipmunk named Albert! But it got the kitty up. Thank goodness, because this cough syrup is so pathetic, I can't stand the grape. <laughs> Sorry, you had to see that, kitties. You see, Tommy, they have this kind of contest at the store. Oh, great, a contest. And the winner, I'm assuming, gets that golden harmonica. And, of course, this involves... Great. A rehearsal. This is where they sing the most iconic of all of it in chipmunk songs. Dalu, dalu. Back at the chipmunk's lair. Here's what the contest says. Have your picture taken with Santa Claus and his reindeer. Wait, that's no contest. That's a ripoff. Who the hell's gonna pay 25 cents to get a photo of Santa and his reindeer? I bet there aren't even any reindeers. It's probably... Oh, no! This guy's a Santa Claus. And the other two chipmunks are the fucking reindeer. Yep, I called it now, but it's Santa Claus. Wait a minute. Aren't, isn't he supposed to sit on your fucking lap? Why are you sitting on the kid's lap? Oh, I see what you're doing. This is for charity. This is for a good cause. Well, no kids should be paying 25 cents for charity. They should be paying more because the kids deserve this crap. Of course, this, what the hell is up with that sofa? Personally, I would not pick a fluorescent design for my co for my sofa couch. Oh boy, he's gonna go nuts again. Oh great, Santa's gonna get a lump of coal from Naughty David. Cindy Lou, what are you doing in this special? I thought you were supposed to be on How the Grinch Stole Christmas! You don't even look like Cindy Lou! Uh, you... You had dogs dressed as reindeer. Great idea! Where's Max when you need him? Or better yet, the Grinch! Hey look, a snow angel! Now he's a snowman. Oh, He's not even going nuts. This is sad. 
Again with the fluorescent cones. Why must I look at that depressing thing? Yeah, you should be disappointed. You're a bad pick when it comes to choosing your couch design. Yeah, you should be disappointed. You know what you should do? Take that flower and your problems away. Meanwhile, while the kitties are sleeping, Alvin! Oh, I'm sorry. Alvin! Goes to some pointy note. What the hell is this? You're responsible for inventing Christmas? Shame on you! Christmas is not invented! It is the fucking spirit! That is not invented! It comes in your fucking heart! Sheepskate. Next! Away with an inventor. What exactly do you need Albert help for? Sure, and I'm assuming this involves a golden harmonica, isn't it? Oh, great. Why would you play Silent Night with the harmonica? That's a little bit depressing, don't you think? Why not play something more upbeat like, oh, I don't know, Jingle Bells or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or Santa Claus is coming to town? Why Silent Night? Although apparently it's drawing a crowd. And singing people too. David and the rest of the chipmunks are all happy as we transition to the night sky. Hey look, it's the North Star. Hey kitties, when you see the North Star, you get to make a wish and it comes true. No, it doesn't. Meanwhile, at the play, hey, look, the kid's all better. I wonder what cured his spirits. Could it be the spirit of Christmas? The spirit of singing? Or that cough syrup? <laughs> oh, great, they're going to perform a duet. A more epic song. Okay, you're asking for a lump of coal. Oh, Poor David. Meanwhile, Santa Claus hears this amazing music by the chipmunks and decides to go near it. Or something like that. Actually, he flies by and goes straight to the North Pole. And in case you're wondering, kiddies, Yes, that's the North Pole! It sticks up! And it's frozen forever. Am I dirty or what? Santa Claus goes to his house, sits by the fire, sits by Mama Claus, goes to Betty Pie, and that's how the special comes to an end because Alvin was talking to her in the whole gone end time and you didn't know until the end. So there's a chipmunk Christmas. Not the best of Christmas specials, but better than some. Uh, that is to say the least. And besides, it involves Alvin and the chipmunks. You gotta like that. So with that, we have officially kicked off on the Christmas specials. Sadly, I only have time for three. So I've got two more to go. So stay tuned for those two. I'm the Commander Xander. I remember it's on the Standard Greg and I'm doing neither should you.